I mean, his most prominent manager, at least during this most recent time that he was out, was China Mac. Right. Did you have issues with him early on, or when did that kind of start to become a thing? I had no issues with China Mac before. It was actually cool. He had my number. I was kind of, I'm going to be rich, and I don't really care what people say. I was just kind of using him for content, you know. Personally, I have nothing against China Mac. Mm. But I will say that, you know, in the content, I don't lie. But, you know, he should have been, you know, more stricter on, on, on Crip Mac, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And whoever was around him. And I don't think no one was really around him as much as China Mac, so I had to put the blame on China Mac. Mm. You're responsible. He shouldn't be catching no cases. You should be more of a figure. Hey, man, listen, let's not go over there. Forget all that stuff. Let's not carry no guns. Let's not do nothing. Let's focus on the money. We got this going. I'm trying to get you this. All that. Maybe he wasn't, you know, had that with him, that, uh, to make him do that. I was like that. I'm like, bro, can we curse? Yeah, of course. I'm like, listen, bro, bro, let's go get this money. Over there, the hood. You famous. I'm famous because of you. I need you out here. <laughs> we trying to get some millions. Mm. But he just let it hood. He let it hood. So, you know, I had to put the blame on China Mac. So, you know, if China Mac is watching, this is nothing personal against China Mac. We had never had no personal beefs. Mm. And he's seen what I was doing because in his response, he said, these guys are, what do he say, suckers. He don't want to say my name because he knows if he said my name, it helps me out because I don't give a fuck about this shit. We just mm. talking some internet shit. So, yeah, it's nothing personal towards him. I really don't, I really don't know him like that. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird because did you see the uh, Channel 5 put out a documentary about Crip Mac yesterday? I haven't, I haven't watched it. It was so long. I usually watch them long ones when I'm by myself, bit, not busy. Right. I'm going to watch it, though. So in the documentary, you see a little bit of a change of heart where China Mac said, and this was probably filmed like maybe two weeks, three weeks before he stopped being Crip Mac's manager from behind bars. And China Mac says, if Crip Mac actually gets a 15-year sentence, I will leave this country <laughs> he says if he gets 15 years i am out of here i am exiting america fast forward two weeks crip mac has one of his moments that realistically he's pretty much had on anyone who's ever managed him seen him do it to lupe trip mm. out on lupe seen him trip out on you probably even tripped out on china mac previous to all this it's just been like various times where anyone who manages him there's going to be a time period, and you kind of even see this with like his mom and his grandma, that they've just accepted it, right. that he's schizophrenic, he goes through shit. If you're going to fuck with him, there's going to be time periods where he does some fuck shit that you don't really like, but you're just going to have to rock with it and right. then assume that he's going to come back to reality soon after. Right. And it was just kind of <laughs> wild to me that China Mac, knowing that, changed up on him that quick and decided that this was just too untenable of a situation especially when you consider that the thing that he did with china mac now granted it was kind of weird saying the southsiders came to my my cell and told me that you're not allowed in la kind of weird i don't know where right. the fuck that came from honestly it doesn't really seem that likely that that's a conversation that was actually really happening in jail i don't really <laughs> know but doesn't really seem like and especially because Crip Mac was apologizing like immediately after. Within two days, he was saying, I'm sorry, China Mac. I was fucked up for saying that, yada, yada. I don't really know where it came from, but it just seems kind of hilarious to me that yeah. this supposedly incredibly strong bond that would have that, that would have caused China Mac to actually leave America was not enough to keep him Well, maybe he was around. just saying like a bet. Maybe he was saying like he's not getting that much time. If he get that much time, I'll go. It's like somebody saying... Man, if you get that much time, man, I'll give you all my money. Right. It could have been something like well, that. Well, people always say, you know, if Donald Trump wins, I'm, I'm moving to Canada. That's what I'm saying. Motherfuckers never moved so, to Canada. Right, Everybody right. said they were going to move to Canada. Nobody moved. Right. So he never apologized to me. Mm. And I never really expect apology. I right. usually just expect him to just come back and we just act like nothing happened. Uh -huh. That's just how he wrote. Right. So I don't, I don't want to like he, he done dissed me. He done told me I look like my D. I need to go put a dress on. You know, <laughs> disrespectful stuff. Damn. I mean, he put us on the stand. So if you saw China Mac, where what, what would it be like? What's up, mama? What's happening? Let's see what he on. But if he says it's all good, then you're not gonna push the issue. No. Listen, man. Ninety percent of the stuff I do online is for entertainment, man. Mm -hmm. If I seen it right now, I'm like, what's up, bro? You see that video? Now, I'm going to match his energy. Now, if he start laughing, like, man, why you do that? I'm going to say, man, you know what I did. If he say, no, I, I'm like, what the fuck you too then? Mm. I don't give a fuck. Mm. I'm just going to match his energy. But, but I'm going to come humble. You can tell Crip Mac, hey, 
I got a license. I can carry the gun, so you don't got to worry about I've it. I've done that before. China Mac is a felon. Yeah. Not able to carry a gun, I guess. In another state. Legally, especially in another state. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, Crip Mac is a guy, especially having whoop de whoop killer on his goddamn forehead where everybody around him is always kind of aware of the fact that this could become a thing. Even when we when we have him here and he's out in front yeah. of the store, it's kind of in and out. Like, he, he was only here one time, but it was very much like, you know, he took a picture out in front of the store real quick, but he's not really trying to be out in the open ever because realistically there's people who got issues with him. So, but, but what I was saying about that was, I wasn't, I, I used that in my content. I wasn't telling Crip Mac, I mean, China Mac to carry a, a firearm. Mm -hmm. I was saying, man, y'all getting money, y'all need to pay security. Y'all can pay me. Just make it happen. People will, will charge low just to get content, just to be notoriety with him. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Just just for the, the fame. You know, she gets my hundred dollars, couple of dollars, wrote you. That's cash money for armed guard. They'll do it out the rest. And a lot of these guys aren't really working in the, the, the economy we in. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's y'all making money, spend a couple dollars, be safe. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers, I think twice if you got somebody with a with, with a legit firearm right here, rather than you got something hidden in your, in your pocket, they know it's gonna be a shootout when you come. Mm. It's just about the presence, man. The whole thing with Crimac though is that he'll he would get booked to do something for five hundred bucks, and it's like knowing Crimac, that five hundred bucks is probably gone by tomorrow morning, right? Right. So if you're gonna have to have a security guard, who I don't know, like, what's the cheapest security guard that's going to rock with you for a day? Maybe it's, like, 100 bucks or some well, shit. I don't really if, know any dudes that run around if, for 100 bucks. If but. you get somebody, a lot of you guys aren't working. If you get somebody that's going to just work with you, hey, man, roll with me. Yeah. I ain't making a lot of money. I'm going to slide you 100. But those same guys are at some point going to get frustrated the way that you or China Mac got frustrated because they're going to be dealing with the ups and downs, right? No, he used to take care of his business part. Mm -hmm. When he thinks it's not business and he thinks he can play in this, this certain little games, then he'd do that. As far as business, like I'm sure he'd pay for his restaurant. I'm sure mm -hmm. he'd pay for the security. I'm sure he'd pay for the taxi or whatever. I'm sure he's gonna take care of his business because he really don't want his name messed up. Like he don't even like when people say they sent money and he say these people saying you scamming them. I said, bro, who who got scammed? They didn't send me no money. So he's pretty much good on his word as far as that. You know, he'd break himself to make sure that the people are taken care of. But mm -hmm. he don't want that on his name. Right. So I don't think that'd be a problem. Like I say, people work with you though, man. But that's what I'm saying. With me, I was in work with him. You know what I'm saying? We work together. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then we got an interview. I'm saying, man, we're 500. Okay, cool. Listen, we got to hire an armed guard, get a rental car. You make 800, we're going to pull up, send 400 right now. Extra couple hundred dollars to make it happen. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But they, they got to they be business savvy. They don't, they're not really business savvy. They're trying to get this. And nah, we need every dollar. If you got, you got an extra 50, all that shit adds up during the day. If you do a feature, $100, okay, 150. If you get three or four fifty dollars every day, that's an extra couple hundred dollars. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? All that shit adds up. Right. That's how he was able to get so much money from us. He got all the money he made, our percentage, and more money. Uh -huh. Go, go, just here, unlimited. So you you object to, like at one point he was saying that you scammed him for $2,000 to get his Instagram back? No, not me. Saying you scammed the fans? Well, never scam no fans. That's Cap? Absolutely Cap. I don't believe he said I scammed the fans. Okay. What he did, he was trying to get that Crib Mac page from the people in the sky. Who you work on behalf of. The people who have signed this to this management contract that we can never really get to the bottom of exactly what this is all about. The people in the sky, right? And it's just a guy who doesn't really want to be identified or linked to this, I guess. And so 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 basically, mind you, he owes so much money. The message that, that I got him received was like, bro, how is he gonna give us some money for something when he owes us money? Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm out of it, bro. And I talked to him about that. I said, bro, listen, you know what? Since y'all use me as a middleman, I said, Crib Mac, I'm gonna make sure you get that money back. So we was actually on good terms before he went to jail. Mm -hmm. And I actually knew he was in jail. And um, I posted saying, saying he went to jail, he was on bail. He called me and said, take that down, bro. Take that down, down, down. You gonna get me in jail. My I said, bro, number one, if you're in jail, it, it, if you get violated, not won't be because of me. They're gonna know. But I'm gonna take it down, respect for you. So I took it down. So I said, we was in contact up until he had to turn himself in. Mm -hmm. But he just ain't called me. They dead in his ear, it's over with. Do you think China Max really banned from LA? Nah, I don't really think nobody could ban nobody in 2024. Mm. It's, 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 it's not the same as the 90s. L.A. is too broad. Yeah. People could be banned from certain areas. Yeah, certain areas, you know. Maybe doing certain things, doing certain types of business. But don't get me wrong, though. You might have people who try to make an example from certain situations out of certain people. But, I mean, you, 
you gotta look at it like this. Who's saying he's banned? Do they have the resources? What's the reason? Is it worth using all these resources to prove a point to ban someone? Right. Who's actually saying he's banned? <laughs> Who said he's banned? Uh, was it was it Crit Max saying it at a certain point? Crit Max said that. Was it him saying that he was banned? Or I, yeah, I mean, I forget who exactly was saying it. I don't know. You know, his banned is when you see something like that Quando Rondo shit. You know, that's that's a dude who they wanted their guy when his guy got shot, and he was in a touristy ass area, <clears throat> not too far from here. Well, well, and well, they fucking ran up assassin style, and they took his homie out. Well, I heard they were. I, I heard they was just trying to get their man. I don't think it was like on him. It wasn't on Quando, was it? I mean, still to this day, I'm kind of confused because his man was talking hella shit about the situation with Vaughn and everything, but it's like, Kwando did plenty did of disrespectful get, ass shit. Did somebody get arrested for it? For that murder? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Oh. We're still waiting on that. Oh. But I'm just saying, like, that's an example of, if they really don't want you here, then, I mean, clearly people are capable of making well, shit well, happen. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. God. Certain situations... You know, people will try to make an example out of certain things, but like I said, you got to, it, it just depends on who you're dealing with. They got to have the resources. Mm. You know, you can't be for a Joe Blow from this neighborhood saying you can't come out here when, bro, you got your own stuff going on in your neighborhood. You can't stop these people. You know, you can pull up with, you know, five armed guards and pull up wherever you want. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it just it just depends on who, who's initiating that shot. Right. So, okay. At this point, you <clears throat> have you just kind of given up on the Crip Mac thing? You're just not, you're just leaving it alone. Or if it's requested by the man upstairs, not God, but this other guy who has him under contract, would you still get involved and deal with certain things on their behalf? On their behalf, I mean, they got business things. To do what they got to do. They got cease and desist letters. They got stuff they can do. You uh -huh. know? I mean, they need me to actually go file it like I served you that one day. <laughs> that was funny. You know, that's it. But. <laughs> People hit me up all the time thinking that. I, I'm like, listen, I don't know if there are papers that might someday be served to me, but that was a skit. It was a skit. Yeah. Okay. It was a fun skit. That was funny. But, yeah, yeah, like I said, Crip might cool with me. Even like I said, I, he don't deal with me in jail. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't like say he ain't called me, but, you know, maybe when he get out, I don't know how to send this and go. Do you do half time? Do you mm -hmm. do 80% of the time? Whatever. If he get out, you know, I'm here for him, man. He's still my bro. You know what I'm saying? We got some good memories, man. We got some good times together. You know what I'm saying? We made money together. We... We have fun, so you know, we'll see how I go. I ain't got no 